Bob Asher reported his wife missing one year ago today. Back then, he was a free man. He was eventually locked up last year in connection with a plot to hire a hitman to kill his handyman, Joe Gens. Gens was the only man charged in Jane Bashera's murder. He pleaded guilty to that. And today we learned the judge moved his sentencing. Originally set for next week, now it's going to take place in March. Right now, 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has a look back. Tonight, she spoke to an attorney representing another woman involved with Bob Bashera. What Jane Bashera didn't know is that after 26 years of marriage, her husband Bob had a secret life that involved other women and a handyman who would later tell police a story of being hired to kill her. The bottom line was that he was paid by um, Mr. Bashera to kill Jane Bashera. I remember the morning Jane Bashera's body was found in her SUV here in this alley on Detroit's east side. It was the day after her husband reported her missing to Gross Point Park Police, and that's when this murder mystery began to unravel in ways some never expected. Without a doubt in my mind, I know that he did not do it. I believe that, some, that she was out running an errand and doing something, and someone uh, either carjacked her or kidnapped her. But just two days after his wife was found strangled in the back seat of her Mercedes, police were calling Bob Bashera a person of interest. Action News was first to report that the Gross Point Park businessman, with a penchant for kinky sex with his mistresses, failed a polygraph. And Bob was involved with one woman named Rachel Gillette and another woman who lived out of state. He met her online. I had no idea at the time that he was married, and they just uh, hit it off uh, electronically at first. And he was quite charming, and, and it seemed like a good match very quickly. Rachel Rachel Gillette was brought into the mix and my client was hesitant and was kind of like okay this is unusual and I think decided to explore a little further. It was January 31st, six days after Jane's body was found, that handyman Joe Gents went to police claiming Bob Bashera hired him to kill Jane. Then at gunpoint, forced him to do it. Then, in a shocking move, after Gents confessed, police released him. He later told friends he feared Bob would try to kill him to keep him quiet. And he did. Bashera was charged and later pleaded guilty to solicitation of murder. I foolishly and regrettably offered to pay Steve the bottle to find someone to kill Joseph Gens. Then days before Christmas, Joseph Gens pleaded guilty to second-degree murder for his role in Jane's killing and agrees to help prosecutors. Bob Ashera offered me money to kill his wife. He threatened me if I did not kill her. I think he realizes now that he was, how much he was manipulated and how he was taken advantage of. And with Bob Bashera already behind bars, prosecutors don't seem to be in any rush to gather all the evidence they can to finally do what so many people think is just a matter of time, and that's finally charging Big Bob with the murder of his wife, Jane. In downtown Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.